<laughs> no, he's getting too close. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some plays from the best of the best around the world. Pros and challengers alike. Don't forget to like and subscribe in the top right back in with Zukil, stalling for his cooldowns and teammates with finesse. There is no running from No Way the Menace. He's ghosted for at least the next 20 seconds, and even with no boots, he's got fully stacked Magi's and a Cosmic Drive pushing him way forward. Draven jungle. Do I get extra gold? Next up, let's see it again. This heroic swing bug is brutal. Basically, if you hug the turret and then shoot the hook at a certain angle, Octron will swing very quickly in tiny circles, blasting out tons of damage. I played! Peel, peel, peel! Peel, peel, peel! We're doing work, baby! We're doing God's work! We're doing God's work! That's what I like.
That 55% crit is looking a lot more like a 100% crit. Next up, this Twitch is quick on the sneak trigger. After the expunge kill, he sees Diana fly in and drop the pink, but these slight hesitations give him the tiniest window to escape. Thank you. You're welcome, Draven. There we go. With 10 mark stacks and lethal tempo, I'm pretty sure we're getting past Caitlyn range here. Talk about a hyper carry, and speaking of which, this Rengar is full ADC, but watch how he holds his double battle roar for the perfect timing. With this shield against the Misfortune Ultimate, it kind of spares Offset a lot here when it finally comes out. Wait, wait for it. Oh, he's just CC'd through all of it, so there's actually none of, no, none of it getting blocked there. And it forces Offset to get out of this situation afterwards with the Flash as well. So great stuff from Loud. And once again, a little bit of a wacky draft. Oh <laughs> my lord! You gotta love it! I mean, Carry and Vulcan, they can't really back away at this stage. Nope. But they have TP from Impact, but an Oculus Cannon's not much. Vile into the tower. Play by some time. They got kill number one and two. A trade back. Vulcan stays alive, but they can reset the aggregate back to zero damage and then start yet again. Hook comes in in a vibe, but he only buys a second for himself. Flashes the knockup. Replays away. And Keno nearly dies. Jade has got to get in there. Flashes in. Takes an ulti. And now he can dive the Enforcer. And look at. Beyond played that so well up until they bit off a little more than they could chew and Vulcan punished them for it. Next up, watch out for Yaharong rotating down while Yudapon puts on his dance and shoes to stall out this fight. Yudapon is just fighting and Ray's like, I'm not really that safe. Now we've got a flash out of there. Yaharong gets the charm in the front side, but now the stun on the other is good and Yaharong is gonna move in there. Great little flash, Emperor's Divide and Aladoric and the rest of the side are all dead. It's detonation, focus me. Win an What are these traps, man?
unbelievable that I can do that. Yeah, but 90 health for autos on minions is kind of insane. Next up, this is why wards win wars. Autolycus dances around Pantheon's ranges so elegantly. I did not expect Karma to be up here. EDG are about to secure Baron, but at what cost? It's 4v5, but look at this. With Guma Yusi's Call of the Hunt, T1 has such insane positioning, and all this AoE is tearing EDG's health bars apart. But EDG will take the Baron. Baker onto the backside trying to finish off Scout. Baker, can he get it done? He goes in. He takes down Scout. That's going to be one. Odor waiting over the wall. T1. Guma now running. They're split. They're knocked down. They might just be knocked out. TP coming in from Baker for the triple. You see, you don't even got to tell me to. I'm Chill. You're super happy about the situation you still have from Loudy. You get the objective, got a few platings in the mid lane. You have so much for you to work around with. Love this play here. Flash ulti out of Razzle. Knows the brand's just burnt the flash. Hillsung setting it up. He's two steps ahead. Sales with the watch there. Now the bullet time gonna turn it back around. Sales barely get away. But the double kill comes through for Brands. This is Vayne main knowledge to the max. Saskio knows exactly how fast he needs to be to dip in and out of turret aggro. And he's always watching his levels. Nice, thanks for the blue. Okay, looking to lock down Gumiyushi, but the flash stops it. Alti comes out as well, but not really connecting on anybody from Mako. Mako now being pulled back. Ignite now taking Baker, looking to finish up some kills. Baker looking to find Mako, getting pushed back. Scout keeping him alive. The objective, can they take it? That's one for the side of T1. But the stacks are there. Oh, Baker now, oh. Baker, everything on him. Guma still standing strong, the flash forward. The absolute confidence, he gets one. Can he get two? Baker now standing forward, they can't finish Guma. It's massive for the side of T1. The dragon's still standing. Scout now walking away. TP now coming in, Fjord just returning to the top lane. It is a mess on the bottom side. Scout out, still in the area, but T1 will finally, finally take the cloud. Drink. And we see T1 loud, but in the mid lane, Fnatic come through with a response. France in trouble, flashed on there by Razzo, but now kiting out of the way, should be okay. Now gonna get stunned by the set, but there's no follow up there. Brant's already low, just the Razzo in the 1v1. Brant's gonna go down, no, he's gonna take out the enemy jungler instead. Has to get out, hiding in the ocean brush with the rest of the team's gonna reinforce. Wonder in there though, Humano diving in, but Brant gets the kill! Loud have turned it back around! in the second tier turret. Really level two or three and outside that has been just fine. Yeah, I didn't have Zillion in my list of possible Aatrox counters, 
Uh, I did like a lot of what happened. Nissa was doing nicely in the early game, especially towards subset, even though Hasman also survived well, but this is kind of the end of it all. Grell's gonna get ulted, but he can't really dive Ooh. back in. Shogun's dominating. My goodness, the Valios might be on track for the Panther. Three, four, five, give it to me! There we go, baby! That's a pentakill for Shogun! 16... Oh my god, there you go! Boom! Snake power. While Kingan knocks down the bot lane with Baron Pressure by himself, the rest of IW is trying to deal with Zeka. This dude is 8 0 with 25 Magi stacks and an absolute raid boss. Story, friends. Oh, my. He's a genius. He's actually so oh, smart. Faust, you have the biggest IQ. He flashed in here. Like, how good are you? She got me in the first half, but I have him. Thank you so much for watching. That is going to do it for today's episode all on Challenger and Pro Plays. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe for some more good stuff like this daily. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and have yourself a wonderful day.